Oh, yes. Yeah. So I've heard a figure of about as high as $10,000 as necessary to get the Mississippi group, for instance, from Mississippi to Chicago. And I'd imagine in Georgia we'd spend less than that, but around five or 6000 We've got to get 40-some people from uh, the state of Georgia up to Chicago. We've got to find them lodging and accommodations there for the week of the convention. And we've got to get them back down. So all those things have to be paid for. Then this will be a fundraising organization in at least one respect. Right, it certainly will be. And we hope to split all the money we raise equally between all the challenging groups. Do these delegations hope to gain strength through unity and exert pressure on the Credentials Committee by being unified? Well, we think that each of the cases from all of the southern states has its own merits. Uh, we don't think, however, that we ought to join together and say that if you're going to seat one, you ought to seat all. We believe that each of them is going to be seated, the Georgia challenge, the Mississippi challenge, the Alabama challenge, the Texas challenge, the Louisiana challenge, the North Carolina challenges. We think all these groups are going to take their place in Chicago, but we want them to be judged on their own merits and not as part of a group. All of these delegations obviously have common interests. Would they also be likely to vote as a bloc were they seated? I don't think so. All of them are uncommitted. Uh, I've heard that one delegation is heavily pro-Humphrey and another is heavily uh, pro-McCarthy. And the uh, one I've heard that has a great many people who really honestly haven't made up their minds. So I think we're all going to vote our own way once we get in.